There's a reason why we don't have another amulet in the heart, like the aerial heart and the flame heart, because one of them is exclusive exclusive to Lucia in the underwater levels. Mm -hmm. The ice heart, correct? Yeah, and yeah. The, you should keep the electro heart equipped because we're actually fighting a fire-based boss. Plus, I want to see what the electricity looks like. And then I can go lightning! Lightning strikes all the time when you're Dante. Am I supposed to punch it, I guess? I think you're supposed to head to near the middle, actually. Oh, okay. Aha! I'm supposed to punch this eyeball. There, you got to see what lightning looks like. Now I want to see what Dante's lightning looks like. Nah. No homo. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> and now for that reunion we talked about. Oh, fan-fucking-tastic! Probably his cousin. Fan tucking fastic. What were you saying about these games recycling shit? They even recycle it between sequels. <laughs> <laughs> and no, this isn't even a boss rush. There is no boss rush to be found in this game. Yeah, but look at the way the motion. Is this motion blur? Because, like, you can't see the. Looks like Dante's drunk, honestly. Exactly. Go home, Dante, you're drunk. I, th I think he must have taken a cue from Duke Nukem. <laughs> you mean because this game sucks? <laughs> Look at the layers of his health. How do you expect to take him out while retaining guns. a suitable combo? Lots of guns! A suitable manipulative combo? combo. What's that? Yeah. Combo starts and ends with bullets. Yep. Thank you, yeah. slow as balls, roll recovery. It's no different than what you did before. Yeah, you play Dante differently, but Phantom retains all his movesets. Right? How is this fair? For that matter, it isn't even a really good contrast. I was very disappointed by um, Duke Nukem, though. Because I actually like the old Duke Nukem games a lot. They were a lot of fun. And, you know, the joke was, you know, about Duke Nukem Forever. Huh, did not finish, you know? Yeah, and, they... and then when it came out, it was such complete crap. Like, I don't mean just your standard look garden variety crap. It was really bad. That's another thing. Gearbox, the company who makes Borderlands, and uh, they ha they've had a successful franchise with Borderlands, but the only other two games they've ever worked on have been high-profile disasters. Yeah. Duke Nukem and Aliens. I actually downloaded Borderlands 2 for my computer, but I also wanted to say that... So the Borderland games are great, but it seems like every other time they try to make out a game, it turns out like, shit! Then just give it to somebody else. I don't know. And also the fact that Gearbox lied through their teeth every time they showed off the Aliens game. Right. Telling us that this was in-game, and this was this, and this was that. And then another because I'm a fan of the Aliens franchise, and I, they, I kept remember they were teasing that there was some connection to Prometheus, the prequel, yeah, the prequel in the Colonial Prometheus. Marines game. Prometheus. I, I didn't even freaking see it in the, in the Aliens game. Like, what was the Prometheus connection? I sure as shit didn't see it. Maybe someone in the comments can tell me. That it was made by Ridley Scott? No, I mean, there was supposed to be, like, some connection story-wise to Prometheus. I mean, if it... <laughs> or did anybody... Or, or does nobody know because nobody bothered to play the game that much? That's probably a good a good explanation, honestly. How did that lawsuit turn out between... Uh, who was it that sued Gearbox and Sega? Um, I don't know. Who did sue Gearbox and Sega? I... I don't remember either, but I do know that Sega is actually looking into their development, like whoever made that game, because that was on their money. They well, that is, that. I believe that would be a textbook case of false advertising, because they just said it was one thing, and it was turned out to be another thing entirely. I mean, like, if you go back and look at the demos or the betas, and I'm using heavy finger air quotes right now, the game looks entirely different. It's not even the same engine, it's not as pretty. I heard that it w that some people could argue that it's not false advertising because it was shown off in a closed event. It, what, what, which one was it? It was not an E3 like demo. Regardless, it what still was, it, it still was not the product promised to consumers. Well, that was easy. I think you could make the make the argument in court that when a company is shows what is the expectation of a promised product to a consumer. That's almost like a non-verbal contract. They're basically saying that if you buy this game, this is the experience you will get. Not exactly because, you know, demos and betas, they change by the time it goes, you know, yeah, that's by why the time it goes to release. That's but, why there's always a disclaimer on practically yes, every demo. But it's so completely different that they might have a case. Like, if you went to the grocery store and asked for a steak and they handed you bologna, 
Good lord. Not the same thing. You didn't save. I did. Oh, over, you did? Oh, okay. the oh never mind. I wasn't file. paying attention. I was mm-hmm. looking in the microphone. Yes, but I, I mean, I don't think they have a case legally, but it's a good <laughs> argument they could make. I'm just going to level up Merciless just because it's so cheap. And anything else. Yeah, uh, the currency system, I'm not going to say it's broken because in the first Devil May Cry, you couldn't really get everything unless you went out of your way to collect as many orbs during the original playthrough as possible. Or, or you could just start the game new, but I've never done a new game plus here. Why would you do? Why would you torture yourself like that? Uh. I tortured myself watching Batman and Robin in the 90s. Oh, God. <laughs> we just watched... Uh, I have never seen any of the videos by the Nostalgia Critic, and uh, this guy was nice enough to show me the Batman and Robin video he did. I died from laughing. You ended up in hell afterward. Hmm? Okay, I can never figure this out, because what you're supposed to do is strike the eye, and you're going to end up with the... Clock? You're ending up in a time sequence where you have to kill as many enemies as possible in order to get in, but the game doesn't let you know how many you need to take out. Ah, little green orb by the corner. What does that look like to you? That? It looks like Patrick Star had an orgasm. Looks like a vagina. With a, I'm a fire and my laser coming out of it. Patrick Star had no through his chest hole. Okay, I I use the I use the guns while locked on, and for some reason my ranking just just disappeared. It's like in the Batman, uh, some of the Batman games, but they're not that difficult to master. You just have to practice with the timing. Like any game that, that involves a lot of uh, muscle memory and fast movement, memorization is a large part of it. And these flight enemies are what make it difficult, but I don't. I believe I don't have to kill them. And they're so them small, that's the, the thing, fight. too. If they're at least bigger, they'd be an easier target. There's your lightning. Lightning What the hell? I, I just fired something. Your lasers? No. Yeah. <laughs> fired my lasers. I have to regenerate the trigger in order to see what I did. Because in the video, everyone else will be able to point out. But... Actually, you know what that does remind me of? Starro from Justice League. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Starro, the alien that possessed Superman for a couple, for a decade or two. Well, and because and that also is the first villain that the Justice League fought together. The JLU. Yeah, Justice League Unlimited is what they called themselves in the future. That was in Batman Beyond, which takes place after Justice League. Yes, but DC is also planning a Justice League uh, that takes place in the time frame of the Legion of Superheroes, the 25th century, where Professor Zoom and the Legion of Superheroes come from. Okay, I got no clue which continuity that is. It's it's you know the Legion of Superheroes. Hard. They, they had a they had a TV show on Kids WB for a while. Just... It was where Brainiac Five came from, oh. and Professor Zoom. Wait, is that like a Bruce Timm show? I don't know if it was Bruce Timm, but it was around the Justice League Unlimited era. Mm. But yeah, that's the 25th century is the timeline of the main DC continuity where Professor Zoom, you know, Flash's rival comes from, and Brainiac 5, and there DC was supposed to be making a Justice League in that time era that all looked suspiciously like their 21st century counterparts, but with like cool future stuff in their armor, like lasers and low lights and tell, shit. Tell me more about it. The only other cartoons I kept an eye on back then were Static Shock and the Zeta Project. Well, this comic is going to be written by the guys who wrote Justice League Unlimited back in the day. Oh, it's in a comic I format. I don't remember, uh, yeah, it's a comic. I don't remember their names, but they were the writers for that show. And everybody called their style of writing Wahaha. I remember. Because it was a combination of action and comedy. Like, really fast-paced. And that's what they became known for. Are you just supposed to survive right now? I don't. Think I so. guess you, so. No, you have to do it again. Yeah, I remember. You have to kill this thing and then start it up. And then try to survive it. Okay. Oh, God. It's got teeth. Once more. So, what, you just have to keep surviving the waves? I guess so. Oh, that's easy enough. 
What were you gonna say? I was telling you that this this thing is in a comic book format, the Legion of Superheroes, or was it a TV show previously? Uh, it started out as a comic book, and then they made a very short-lived animated series, which yeah. I honestly didn't watch. Well, but like I said, back then I kept an eye on the Z Zeta Project because it was a spin-off of Batman Beyond, which I didn't know at the time. Until, I did not know that either until, until it, just now. It had an episode what? that featured Batman. What? Terry McGinnis. It was Into the Shadows what? or something. Yeah. Where where Batman comes across Zeta. I remember that show. I never watched any of it. And he looks like he tried to kill Ro, because that was the blonde companion he had back then. Uh-huh. Yeah, I didn't even know. Uh, That's weird. I didn't know that. You can find them on Daily Motion. They're, they haven't been taken down. Uh, another thing that I uh, was told the other day was... Um, um, if, you, if you ever play Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Ghost Rider's ending, because you know how in arcade mode they all get uh, different endings, it's Ghost Rider teaming up with Dante and Trish. Oh, let me, have the, let me have this one. You know I want. Okay, fine. Yeah, it's Dante and Trish and Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze, teaming up against Mephisto to break a contract. What everybody alleges, and this is like, this is like rumor, but it actually shows up on the Marvel Wikia and the Devil May Cry side of things. It's actually a contract binding between uh, giving Mephisto Peter Parker's marriage and restoring the health of his ailing aunt. Basically all the crap that happened in one more day. Oh, God. I just think that's hilarious. That, that if, if, I wish that were true. Yeah, I uh, told you the other day, as far as it goes in my head, that's what happened. Okay, these missiles don't fire upward even if no, the enemy don't. is just locked stick to the on. Guns. Yeah. Oh, okay, they do fire up, upward, but the but doesn't they matter. They move too fast. Yeah, the harpies keep moving, and the missile doesn't lock on. It just I mean, it doesn't... use your submachine guns. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll use round trip. What happens if you shoot the if shoot the rocket launcher when you're in DT? Do you shoot missiles out of your hands? And you can't swap weapons during DT. Oh, so you just fi fire fire or lightning in DT? It doesn't matter what gun you have equipped. Exactly. I just assumed because I had some machine guns, I was going to rat it down with my palms. So can I move any other weapon in any other direction? All the enemies have really weird freaking names in this one. Some kind of weird, like, Latin. Okay, I can't perform two sometime. I don't know why. I'm trying. I tried doing that earlier, too, and it didn't work. I can't believe this is the entirety of the level. <laughs> Just mash out guns for 30 minutes. Yeah, just three more harpy ladies. <laughs> harpy ladies, sisters. They keep getting knocked back like by a projectile in midair. Let me guess. I gotta do it again. Oh, joy. Okay, I, I think I see what I have to do now. I'm technically in round two of this layer of fights, I... so I probably just have to keep going until I beat them. Yeah, until I can dissolve the light. Is the light getting smaller? I can't tell. Try hitting the eyeballs, the other eyeballs. Great, now I'm getting struck by lightning. Try hitting the other eyeballs, does that do anything? No. No, not at all. Well, this is boring. You don't say. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I think I just, like, charged my sword without realizing it, because I held on to the triangle, like, the attack button, and the lock-on. Alright, guys, oh. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give us some uh, background music while we finish this. Go ahead. I'm all ears. It goes with everything. Alright, that's all I got. Uh, too bad. Well, don't worry. I'll loop it in. <laughs> so, apparently the Tokyo Game Show started today. Yeah. I was not aware of this. And the first, the second trailer for the new Guilty Gear game was revealed. And we got to have a peek at it. And holy jizz-tasticness. Do you think you ever want to go to these conventions? In Tokyo? <laughs> Yeah. Well, no, not just this Sure, one. let's go to Tokyo. Not just this one, but like Gamescom. I would love to go to the Escapist Expo. 
That way we could see like Yahtzee and Jim Sterling like and Movie Pax Bob. Prime. Eh. <laughs> I think it just parried his attack. Yeah, I did. Oh, What's but it wrong? returns to him. It doesn't. It doesn't kill him though. It's like Captain America Shield. Oh, I think okay, we finally did it. Finally, it's like two rounds of that stuff. Okay, Starro has finished his orgasm. Starro is down. He's a squirter. He can get Superman, but not Dante. Perfect logic. Goku. <laughs> finally, okay, we're through. Now we can move on. Huzzah! Next time.